So Suzanne, since you want to know about uh, presentation and movement and uh, stuff like that, I'm playing uh, the ending of the De Barrio etude that I also gave you something. I think it was a practice snippet or something. Uh, so you should have the sheet music. I'm starting in the middle of the last two fourth lines, so three full lines back and then a half line. I don't know how to express that in English. So um, I think um, this is in line with a task that uh, Daniel gave me, like um, have a different feeling for the harmonies. So I don't know, um, express the harmonies with my playing and also with my um, expression and maybe movement at least movement of what is necessary to get the sounds out but also uh, perhaps some some additional uh, body movement and facial expression <laughs> or whatever so this is the uh, tricky ending i mean i got past on this but there was were really some holes in the last line and the last one and a half line uh, so uh, this is a good review for me but also it is a repeat so the beginning is the thing that I thought mostly about and it repeats at least the first seven or so measures so <laughs> let's see Okay, so I'm not going to comment much of it. Yeah, I think sometimes that's as a general uh, experience I have with moving, which I do quite a lot and at least it might feel natural but it's not always like um, independent of the technique that I'm realizing. So um, let's see this with these. Um, hmm. changed a little bit but it's still not really embodied uh, I have like a tendency to do to 
bring the violin inwards on the down bow and then that um, doesn't really help it because the bow and the violin move in the same direction and also sometimes with these bigger shifts I have an extra movement. So I like the shifting up of the violin, the, the holding up. that's a tendency on the F -sh e uh, B sharp to go like inwards. are the issues I've been thinking about uh, after I saw your prompt in studio class. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye for now.